Um, there's things that I don't want to come across in my show that I worry often come across about me, because people don't realize that it's an act up here. I don't want you to ever think that I think I'm better than people or that I think I know better than people. Um, anyway, sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is a song from the perspective of God. That's a joke. That is a joke. It's not genuine. He totally thinks that he's better than people. And that was a joke. It was like, it was, he thinks he's funny by saying that. Look, like, look right here. Um, anyway, sorry. Okay. You see that smile? My dog's joking. He totally thinks he's better than people. <laughs> okay. uh, this is a song from the perspective of God. You're a clown, a hundred percent. That's all a big joke. <laughs> the books you think I wrote are way too thick. Who needs a thousand metaphors to figure out you shouldn't be a dick? <laughs> and I don't watch you when you sleep. Surprisingly, I don't use my omnipotence to be a fucking creep. Why do you think he said omnipotence instead of omnipotence? Omnipotence. Maybe, maybe he said it right and I'm just an idiot. You're not going to heaven. Why the fuck would you think I'd ever kick it with you? <laughs> if you are going to heaven, there's a trillion aliens cooler than you. You shouldn't abstain from rape just because you think that I want you to. That's a crazy bar, dog. That's a crazy bar. But you th he's probably right, dog. You shouldn't rape, cause rape is a fucked up thing to do. <laughs> it's just don't fucking rape people. You see how he like brings it back? He's like, I don't need to give you a 10,000 metaphors to tell you not to be a fucking asshole. And then he's like, all right, you shouldn't rape people because you think that I think that's bad. You shouldn't rape people because you shouldn't want to rape people, you weirdo. Didn't think I had to write that one down for you. <laughs> that's crazy. I don't think masturbation is obscene. It's absolutely natural and the weirdest fucking thing I've ever seen. You make a <laughs> job a living hell. To fix overpopulation. Boy, did that go well. You're not going to heaven. Eat a thousand crackers, sing a million hymns. None of you are going <laughs> to heaven. You're not my children. You're a bad game of sim. That's crazy. That's really crazy. And like, honestly, if one were to really think about a God, like the idea of what a God would be, you know, like this would be his Sims. It, that's really a hundred percent facts. That's crazy. You shouldn't abstain from pork just cause you think that I want you to. You can eat pork, because why the fuck would I give a shit? That's <laughs> super valid. I created the universe. Think I'm drawing the line at the fucking deli aisle? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. And you know, he, like, he starts off this song, and he's like, I don't think I'm better than people. And he like kind of laughs at the idea that he doesn't think he's better than people. And then he wrote this song from God's perspective. It's essentially just calling everybody stupid. Because of who they think God probably is. And that's so funny. <laughs> you argue and you bicker and you fight. Atheists and Catholics, Jews and Hindus argue day and night over what they think is true. 
But no one entertains the thought that maybe God does not believe in you. You pray That's so fire. badly for heaven, knowing any day might be the day that you die. But maybe life on earth could be heaven. Does Facts. It, does the thought of it make it worth a try? Facts. My love's the type of thing. And he kind of went minor there in the piano for a little bit. See, Bo always tells people that he's not that good at piano, but he's very good at making it do what he needs it to do, right? The guitar is the same way. He's, he's not a Tim Minchin where he's like, <laughs> no, but he understands like these couple of notes is going to shift the mood of the song and we're going to go a different direction. I think that that's really all he needs to do because the lyrics of the song is really the joke. You know, he doesn't really need the music to do something different. Whereas Tim Minchin kind of uses the music to dramatize, but Bo is the act, you know? My love's the type of thing that you have to earn it when you earn it. You won't need it. Oh, my love's the type of thing that you have to earn it when you earn it. gonna give you love just because I know that you want me to if you want love then the love has got to come from you that's crazy he goes a little bit deeper with it you know see at the end right he hit that minor chord right and then he changed it. Like this is all surface level stuff from the beginning. Let me change it and at the very end, I'm gonna throw a curveball and see who can keep up with it, you know? Cause they've already listened this long, right? The show's over and we're on to the next song anyway, you know what I'm saying? So let me go ahead and throw a curveball and input a little bit of my actual beliefs in there about God, you know? Um, and I think that's really interesting. I think that Bo's really intelligent. And obviously everybody knows he's really smart, but I think the way that he approaches things is very intelligent intentional and it very much is all grown up i think that he writes every single note i think that he intentionally says every single word including those little introductory things that he says and i don't know i think that's really cool i think the way that he delivers like his ideas is really cool but i don't know really uh, i mean i guess i'll probably have to meet the guy to really know if that's all on purpose but i have a feeling that it's every single part is all on purpose who knows? I hope that you have a good rest of your day. Um, let me let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. Peace out. Oh, my love's the type of thing that you have to earn it.